Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about very basic things that we need to use to make GMT maps. A GMT map needs two things at least. It needs a region. The region is the limits of our maps. And uh, it needs a projection. Even if we don't give it a projection, and uh, there is always a projection. It can be a linear projection, but a projection is something that is needed. GMT has many projections that we'll see out. These are the two things that are basic in the map and we need to specify when we make it. Normally, there's a third one that we need to do as well, is to put annotations. Annotations uh, take the form of the coordinates on the sides of, of the frames. It can be all around, it can be just on the left and on, and on the bottom. That is um, as uh, user wishes. But normally that one needs to be there as well, because a map with no numbers, no scale, many times you don't see, you have no idea what it represents. It might be obvious or not so, but you have regions, projection, and very likely annotations as well. There are many map projections in GMT. Basically, you have azimuthal projections for polar zones, or conic ones also for polar zones, and you have cylindrical projections, can be vertical cylindrical, horizontal cylindrical, and all of these makes a lot of different projections. And when we want to use one of them, you have to go to the manual and see how to specify them and the parameters that might uh, be necessary or not. Some are very simple, we just say the name and the region, others you need to specify the center, the latitudes, and things like that. Uh, a GMT script, uh, like we saw in the previous uh, uh, video, a script is a sequence of commands. A GMT script in modern mode, and we are using modern mode to save us for many of the headaches of the redirections and uh, appending layers of the, the commands. This makes it much more simple for, for users that are learning and even for others. So a GMT script has this structure. He has a first line that says what is the type of uh, shell that is using. It can be what we see here, the bash, or it could have been a Windows uh, batch command. And it starts with GMT begin. GMT begin, and then a session name. Session name is what will control the name of the field. And then we can or not append graphical formats. If we do not append, the default is PDF. But you can also add that you want PDF, PNG, JPEG, and things like that. Then you have your commands inside of the body of the script, and that script ends with a GMT end. If we want to see it immediately, uh, the result of our script, in case that script is to make a map, because GMT does a lot of other things that are not on the maps, but if you want to see it, the result, we end the a show command. So we'll end with GMT end show. And when it finished, when we run it, we see the result of our of our script. OK, let's apply this and let's make a map of uh, Italy and a little bit neighborhood around Italy. So to do that, we need to start a, a new GMT modern mode, mode map script, determine the region, select a projection, plot, land, outline and fill in case we, we want, which we will want to for this demonstration. Decide about frames and annotations, either automatic or manually specified, and run the script and see the result. So this is the what we are going to use as example. We're gonna use a well, we're gonna use this script, which we will run, well copy to a text editor explain more i will explain more in the next video what is what it means what those options mean and see the result so this is in the in, in the slide we cannot execute it but we're going to pass this into a text editor and run this script so now so we're now going to copy the text we saw in on the slide on the text editor so we can uh, run it basically um for that, GMT has also a very handy feature that if we just type GMT, it prints several things we can do with this command. But basically, it has one over here at the top. It says new script. 
and this option new script scripts what it does is print us a template of uh, a gmt model mode script so we can copy this from the from the shell and paste it inside the editor the editor in this case is a visual studio code but can be anything of our interest you have this export session name that sometimes is needed we have more than so we have several scripts running but most of the cases we don't need it but it's there by default and it doesn't arm either so we can leave it so to copy those lines i've previously uh have put them in the file because if i would uh, if i had to type it i would make several mistakes and would take consume a lot of time in this presentation so i'm going to copy from what i previously had and describe what things do so this first line gmt coast is the coast is the model that loads the coastlines the coastlines of the entire world and also country borders but it has a particularity they are not polygons it means they cannot paint them we can draw them but we cannot paint fill them with colors but to, to make a map we need to tell it one thing well two things the projection and the region the regions is specified by the minus r option gmt works with these one letter one letter options and each letter does a look might uh, opens uh, one option that might have many sub options this one in here minus r it requires that we give them the limits there are more than one way to give it limits but this is the most common one where you give the minimum longitude minus the five the maximum longitude 20 minimum latitude maximum latitude this uh, these numbers come from where well because we previously looked at the map and know that this region uh, encloses the, the the country of italy next next comes the minus w which uh, specifies the thickness of the line that draws the coastlines. Minus G is for painting land, which is a color, a light color. And then minus E is an option that extracts countries as polygons from a different, actually from a di different data database than the coastlines in here. But it extracts them as polygons. It means they are polygons, so they are close. And because of that, we can fill them with color if you want. And that's what is my plus G red that it will paint the country of italy in red df is the resolution full resolution and uh s is the color of the water azure is a light blue minus b is for annotations is it can be the probably the most complicated uh option of gmt because you can control all of things you want to control on a, on the a frame and annotations but because of that he has lots of sub options uh, it's normally so scary that we don't show them to beginners and we have this very short way minus b that will pick automatically good defaults for 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 a map we'll see minus n is for painting the country borders uh, that is the thickness of the line and that is the color red and then you have minus j j stands for uh, the option to control the projection uh, there are many projections in gmt you would have to consult the manual each projection can have their own center of the projection and things like that. So some of them are more complicated, are the others are simple. And Mercator, which is this one, M says this, we are going to use Mercator projection. And 15C is the width of the map. So we're going to make a, a map in Mercator projection with a width of 15 centimeters. The height is determined by the latitudinal extent of the map. And we also want to make that inset to see where that part is on the on the global map. So I'm going to copy these ones from here, the inset, put the inset in here, do little adjustments. Well, in fact, I can do this. See them better. Up, out. Never mind. Up, up. Uh, so we have here gmt inset begin it means beginning the inset and then the min the minus d option is the location is where are we where are we going to put inset it's in the interior of the map it would be on the outside that's what this little minus this little j lowercase means and then you have tr t 
T arm stands for top right. So you're gonna, we are going to put it on the top, top right corner of our plot. Then is plus W4C, it means that inset will have four centimeters. And uh, the, the other one, plus O, it says we are going to give it a little margin of two millimeters. And then is the color of the, the, the background of the inset, which will be white, and the, the, the pen thickness of the box that delimits the inset. And again, you have another GMT coast command, this time with RG, which is a shorthand for the global, it means the entire Earth. And you have this capital G, it means the orthographic projection. And then again, the it, or it the, for the color, uh, minus BG stands for grids for grids, it will make grids, and it will, Italy will be painted in red. And then we finish the, the, the begin with the end, the GMT inset end, GMT in GMT end will end the GMT begin and show will show us the map. So we have this one saved, and now I go back to my shell window and I will execute it. Execute it is typing its name. In in my particular installation, I don't have the co uh, current uh, directory in the path. I will have to start with that uh, dot slash and then the name of that file is gmtbasics.sh, so I type the name gmtbasics.sh, I run it, and okay, here we have our Italy in red, the limits that we specified, 5 to 20, 35 to 50, plot the neighborhood, neighborhood countries with their borders as well in red, uh, this is the color that, that we color for the continents and here on the top right corner we have the inset with the global earth in, uh, and it uh, little italy there showing where that our main area is looking so um if you want to do once we have these it's quite simple to extend this to other locations if you want to extend other locations we change the r we either have the, the inset or not have the inset, inset. Uh, not all the R and projections are compatible. For example, we cannot make a Mercator projection with minus RG because Mercator projection has a low, very large distortion on the pole, so we cannot have minus 19 or plus 90 latitude. So they are, the, the projections impose certain constraints. But other than that, if you want to do it for other places on the world, what, have, what we have to do is to change. Uh, uh, script like this one which is uh, way easier than to start each time and write once for from from scratch okay and with this i'll end this basic about gmt mappings